Now, when I was a kid, I grew up in Australia, and in elementary school, everyone played sports at recess, and the entire class was on the soccer team. But as you can probably imagine, I was more of the RuneScape and Super Smash Brothers type of guy than any sort of athlete, so I was super happy every time our practice got cancelled. One of my favorite memories was when we had these after-school bake sales to raise money for people in Africa. The reason this was so good was because practice was an hour long, and the bake sales were usually only half of that. So after I spent about 30 minutes there helping Africa by giving food to white people, it meant I could go home and play video games. But regardless, sports were still a big part of my daily school life until I moved to Canada when I was 12, and I remember saying to the other kids there, yeah, so are we going to play cricket at lunch? And everyone looked at me like I was an idiot and said, we usually just hang out at the lockers and go on our phones. And so obviously I was like, fucking nice, mates. And since then, much like my adorable accent, my sporting career quickly faded away, and all that I do now is watch other people play and pretend I could have done it if I wanted. So while there's no one sport I really follow closely, my favorite thing to watch is the Olympics just because of all the variety, but what I think is unfortunate is how hard it is to understand how unbelievably good these athletes are. And I never really appreciated it until a few years ago when my city had a marathon and these two Kenyan runners flew in so they could qualify for a bigger race. And the moment they showed up, I thought to myself, Nike and Under Armour sponsor these guys? Why did we have all those bake sales? And you know, these two were so built for running, I remember you couldn't even see their shorts because they didn't have a torso. It just went straight from nipple to leg. Like if they were in National Geographic, the antelope would be fucked. My favorite part was about an hour later when they ran by a volunteer whose job it was to offer everyone big cups of water and some sunscreen. So these guys run by, grab the water, grab the whole bottle of sunscreen, throw the water in their face, and then while still running full speed, they look at the sunscreen container trying to figure out what it was. And when I saw that, it just made me think, this is what evolution wanted. So really my point is that every Olympic event should get a guy from the audience to also do the sport so you can actually appreciate the athletes. Now, you might have heard it's not about winning, it's about having fun. And while this is true once you've given up on your dreams, I think it means to say that it's easy to feel good when you're winning, but a lot of people feel or behave really badly when they're losing. As an example, I was recently around some soccer fans watching a big match on TV, and one of their team's players made a really terrible dive. The referee saw it, and so he didn't make a call. Then the captain of the team came up and told the ref he was an idiot, and it was obviously an illegal tackle. And so they go to the replay, and the guy just straight up fell over with zero contact from the other player. But all the fans I was with were still certain it should be a red card. And then about 15 minutes later, when almost the exact same thing happened, but to the other team, the same captain was yelling about how it was obviously a dive and all the fans were screaming at the TV that the guy should get a penalty for it. And you know, I understand it's not just a game when your team is playing, but you can't just blindly defend all the stupid shit your captain says or does without any actual thought. It's a sports team, not a political party. Okay, so thank you for listening to my sports stories. Um, just quickly before I play the end card, I hope this isn't too corporate, but I wanted to mention that we finally have some casually explained shirts. So if you'd like to take a look, you can find them at the link in the description or at casuallyexplained.com. I didn't really think people would want something too overbranded, so we tried to keep it pretty clean, but um, we'd be happy to hear some feedback.